Welcome back, everybody, to our playthrough of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Uh, over the last two segments, we've been making a lot of um, lost, uh, making up for lost time kind of progress, um, and this is one of those segments. Um, over the last couple days, we have a few things we need to do. Um, this is the treasure chest shop. I haven't shown this yet. Um, this is our very weird-looking young lady who runs the place. She ran the game store that was in Ocarina of Time as well. The uh, Banchu game, I think. Um, but it's important to talk to her as a Goron. Aren't you a fit fellow, she says. Um, you wouldn't think it by her saying it, but that means that she favors you over other races for some reason. Whoa, that was a weird little bit of lag, but whatever. So, it's our mission to go through this. It's best to do this when you don't have any magic, I'll be honest. Because it'll feel weird, but while you're... You know, and try not to get, like, thrown off by... Shit. Um, this is one of those games that I'm not really good at under any circumstances. So... Expect a lot of failure. But I'm not I'm gonna try to keep it to a minimum. Alright, there's no way I can get out of here in time now, I don't think. Um But when you do it, here's what I'm ultimately getting at. When you do this game as a Goron, normally what's in the chest is just rupees. When you do it as a Goron, it's a heart piece. I don't know why she favors Gorons over others, but I guess she just does. I know there's usually some kind of strategy involved in this game, this particular game, but I can never remember exactly what it is. So I just kind of go into it haphazardly, expecting that hopefully I can make it the proper way. Oh, hey! How about that? So, yeah. And we got us a heart piece. Tons of fun. And I think the rest of the time she just gives you rupees, so whatever, don't care about that. So thankfully that wasn't didn't take too terribly long. Um, now I'm legitimately going to do it this time. The archery game. Coisa mais linda, mais cheia de graça Ela menina que vem e que passa Num doce balanço, caminho do mar Ok, so after that colossal waste of time Not showing any of that on screen, uh, damn it It's just disgraceful Every sense of the word Since I'm cutting that out, I think there are a few other things I can do now I'll start using the Gorn to get around faster. I don't care if I have no magic, this helps anyway. There we go. Yeah, I don't think I've gone by this way yet. Um, this is Milk Road. Uh, a couple things we can do here. First of all, bang. Uh, second of all, Tingles, I buy surprised. I guess we can go ahead and. I can't even afford that! I wasted all the goddamn rupees on the stupid game. Um, also, this is the way to Romani Ranch. And it's night of the second day, so. And here's what happens um, you can't get to Milk Road or Romani Ranch until the third day. By then, the guy's already un. Blocked the path, the giant boulder. So we're gonna go ahead and see this cow. Yep, it's all gone. He just took his sweet time. Alright, the peaceful part of the game. Horse. Maybe we can get a corner now? 
I don't know if we can, to be honest. Because, for those of you who don't know, the idea behind Romani Ranch is that you get there on the first day. Um, and on the night of the first day, aliens attack. Theoretically, and, and on the first day, like, we say that we'll help, and therefore we get Epona, the horse. And the song to call it to us. I don't know if we'll get it on the third day once all that stuff has already passed, but we're gonna find out. I'm still brooding over how terrible I do. Okay, yeah, she doesn't give two shits and I don't blame her because all the cows are gone. Um, but that is not the main reason we came here. We came here to do this stuff. And by the way, we'll do the stuff to do with Malin probably next segment, next three-day cycle, after I'm done with, what's it called, the, um, the, oh wait, this is a long one. Uh, the racetrack we will come back to, though, but not right now. Uh, this is the one. Um, probably the next three-day cycle I'll go through the entire temple. Um, I don't even, like, and then you have to go through the temple and get fire arrows in order to be able to get there faster. This guy is, looks like he's really old and disheveled, but he's young enough to have a gramps. This guy is a mohawk who cares for his little chicks. And we have the Bremen's mask, so we're gonna do this. Marching around as slowly as possible, gathering up all these little chicks. I don't know how many there are, I've always forgotten it, but... I'm sorry, I still cannot get over how terrible I did. And I'm not showing any of it on screen because it was just awful. I wasted all the money I've had. It's not even, like I've said, it's not even that hard a game. I got my high score up to 48, just too shy of getting the freaking heart piece. And it's like, every single time, there's always one, or in, in each case here, two Octoroks who... For whatever reason, I cannot get to save my life. Get it. Uh, again, I don't know how many there are, but there should be. It looks like there's only two more. Like, I even did what I thought was the harder one. And I did it within a few tries. I don't know, I just need to let it go. Yeah, so for some reason, leading all these chicks around makes them grow exponentially faster. Keep leading them. Circle of life? Yeah. He gives us the bunny hood! Easily the best mask in the game. Quote unquote mask. For one simple reason. And that is. We can walk faster! Yay! Thank God! Don't have to like go running around and s uh, rolling around and everything like that. So I think, what can I do now? I guess a logical thing to do, I, again, I have no idea how much material I have right now. Oh, I end here. Um, here's what I'll do. We'll go ahead and reset time completely. Um, and we'll get to Snowhead will start doing stuff. And I'll continue to be as vague as possible.
And I'll actually show off a couple things. I think... Oh, there's anything I need it for. I think we can sharpen our sword. Um, if we're quick about it. So... First things first, I always gotta remember to do this. Now we done the bunny hood. Heading on and getting our getting our rupees on. Take off your bunny hood and jump across those. Otherwise, you'll jump too far into the basket in the center. And that's not necessarily a huge problem, but it gets annoying. Yeah, Hundo. Oh, Warpin Town. Oh. There we go. It's Warpin Time! La Village de Montagne. I'm quick enough about this. Let me get us over here. And the reason I was thinking before was it's, it's, it's going to take away our sword, obviously, to work on it. And it takes an entire day. But I don't think there's anything... <laughs> Shut up. Oh, wait. Guess who's stupid? This guy. Yeah, things frozen. These guys are pretty annoying. Yeah, never mind. Uh, we can't do that yet, because we have to defeat Snowhead uh, Temple and make it spring again. So we are going to do that. Must hit every single wall along the way. Yeah, I kind of blazed through that. Basically, they said that their their uh, welding or smithing iron is frozen solid, so they can't do any work on it. It costs not very much to really want to put it on this. So. Oh, shit. Well, this is exactly how you don't do this part. I'm failing a large amount. Oh, no, 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 Yeah, you have to do this a lot, so get used to it. Oh. Why do I need the magic, you ask? Well, you'll see if too. So here we are at Snowhead, the temple itself. There's a strong gust of wind that looks like it will blow us right off and kill us completely. First things first. Always good to have. This is what that is, for those who don't know. Use Lens of Truth and you see it's a giant Gora. Being a dick. That's all I can really describe it as. Just blowing everybody else off, so we have to put him to sleep. I wish we could put him to sleep as in try to dart right in his neck, but sadly not. Off a little bit. And presumably dies. The end. So next. Very carefully. 
case you can't tell, I'm not the best driver of a Goron, per se. I stayed on there, but I did. Now comes a part where you don't have to keep doing this, so I'm not, because <laughs> I can't really. It's pretty cool if you can, because this pathway gets pretty narrow, and then you have to just, when you're not doing the spike rolling thing, you just have to punch those giant snowball boulders, or just dodge them, whatever. They're not that hard to dodge them. Just call me Punchinello. <laughs> Alright, and now we are in Snowhead Temple. And I have officially had it with recording this goddamn game. I don't want to burn out any more than I already have like I did on that uh, stupid uh, archery game, so... Next time... Oh god. These are white fuzzies. They are easy to kill, just have to be quick with that. Alright. So next time, we will journey into Snowhead Temple, and I will try to beat it as quickly as possible. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Sorry that I didn't accomplish exactly what I would have liked to. Next time will be different. So until then, everybody, thanks for watching. See you all later.